So if you want to import um, sounds from your MuseScore file into Soundtrap and you want to track out each part, here's how you can do that. Go to File, Export Parts, and instead of turning it into a MIDI, we're going to turn it into an audio file. So you can either use the MP3 audio file or you can use the WAV audio file and save them somewhere where you can easily get to them. I'm going to choose to save them to my desktop. So I would hit save. Then it'll take a little while, especially depending on how many tracks you have. Once they're saved uh, and exported as MP3 or uh, WAV files, whatever you choose, you're going to go to Soundtrap and enter the studio. Uh, it'll ask you if you want to do a music project. You say yes and then add a new track. That new track now has to be um, an audio track instead of a MIDI track. So we're gonna just select voice and microphones. And I'm gonna close this menu. I'm gonna click the three dots on the, mic on the track and click import. And I'm going to select all of the tracks, liner MP3s, all of the tracks that I would like to import and click open. This might take a little bit of time depending on how many tracks you have, but then all of your tracks will be imported as an mp3 or a WAV file instead of a MIDI, and it will retain the sounds from MuseScore that you had instead of um, importing them as uh, MIDI and using the Soundtrap sounds uh, that they have. So it should sound exactly like it did in MuseScore. There is one crucial thing to be aware of, that is the tempos in both programs have to match. So in my MuseScore file, I set the tempo to 120 and I am in 4.4. So I want to make sure that that's the same in Soundtrap. So my metronome uh, here is set to 120 also. If those two did not match up, it causes a whole bunch of problems. So you want to make sure your metronomes are lined up. And then if you need to change the time signature in Soundtrap, you can go to the gear and you can select either a 3-4 time signature or a 4-4 time signature. Okay, thanks.